Today I'm going to be doing a really simple everyday makeup look using Luna Roots, which is a super cool witchy brand that features products that are plant-based. They're also sustainably and ethically made using organic and wild harvested ingredients, which is so unique and such a cool thing for a brand to offer. So I'm just basically going to be doing a step-by-step -step showing you how best to use these products, sharing some tips and tricks, and how to get the most out of them. So to start, I'm basically focusing on prep for the face. I'm gonna start with the lip blush in Soothsayer. So this is a balm that's slightly tinted which is great for everyday wear but it's also great to prep the lips. I especially like to use lip balm before I start any kind of makeup just because it sets the lips up for whatever you're gonna put on them if you want to go a bit darker with them. So this is sort of like a tinted to a slight dusty rose kind of movie shade. And it feels really light on the lips, really hydrating. So as you can see, there's just a little bit of tint on there. This is great if that's all you wanna do for your lips. Next, I'm gonna prep the skin with the Inner Sanctum Serum Priming Potion. You can use about half to a full pump of this, and it's great to apply before using the skin tint or just as a moisturizer. It's super hydrating, super smoothing, and I'm gonna go in myself with about half a pump on the back of my hand, and then applying it in dots around the face. And it smells so good too. This priming potion is especially great for using with the Luna Root Skin Tint because it is also oil-based just like the skin tint is. So generally when you're using oil-based products, having an oil base is gonna be the most compatible. So now my skin has a tackiness to it and it's also hydrated. I'm gonna let that sink in for about a minute and then I'm gonna go in with the skin tint. Going in next with the Earth and Veil vale Adaptogen Skin Tint. I have two shades. I have Sycamore Lore, which is fairer, and then I have Elm Enchantment, which is a little bit darker. It's summer right now, so my skin is definitely in between these shades, so I'm gonna use both of them. So I'm just going to take my finger into the pot and start placing it around my face. I'm gonna be doing it all over because I need the coverage today just in like little dots. You don't have to go in too much. And then I'm going in with the lighter one in areas of my face that I wanna bring forward. So sort of the center of my face, under the eyes, on tops of the cheekbones to lift, center of the face, sort of along the jawline. Then I'm gonna blend that all out. I think you can really easily blend this with your fingers if you prefer. I just generally like to use a brush. This is a dense, densely packed domed brush and it's my favorite thing to apply any foundation with. I just find it creates such a beautiful finish and you don't lose any product like if you were using a beauty blender which just sucks up so much product. Also, the water in a beauty blender might not go so great with an oil-based formula. So I definitely recommend a brush or fingers. So that's already covering so much of my redness. And this is just one layer. Then going back in on certain areas that are having a little bit more problems. And this is with the darker shade. And again, just with the lighter shade in the areas I wanna bring forward more. I also find doing this sort of dabbing motion can really help so that you don't budge the product around too much and you keep it in place so this is the base and I feel like it's a super perfect medium coverage. You're not like caking your skin in makeup, but you are getting a lot of coverage. I feel like most of my redness is gone and there's also a nice dewiness to this finish. So I'm gonna go in next with contour. I have a bronzer and sort of a bronzer contour in the Dewy Fawn formula. So the bronzer contour shade is in light to medium and I have the bronzer in the shade Fair to Light. As you can see, the bronzer contour has a slightly cooler shade to it, 
which means it's gonna be better for putting on the lower points of your face, sort of like under your jawline, slightly under your cheekbone. And then the bronzer is quite warm. So that's gonna be where I'm gonna apply where the sun would naturally hit, a little bit higher on the cheekbones, top of the head, top of the nose. Starting off with the bronzer contour, the cooler shade, going in with a slightly fluffy brush right into the pan. And I'm just gonna start under the jawline and sort of start creating the illusion of a shadow. I don't wanna to go too heavy handed with this cause otherwise it's quite noticeable in the daylight. You just wanna subtly emphasize the jawline. Going all the way here, sort of behind the ear and down in a V shape. Now pressing this, sort of like if I do this kind of, you can see that natural shadow here. That's where I'm gonna be pressing this. And I'm going to go in with a light hand and be careful not to like move things around too much. I find a dabbing motion is perfect because then you're placing it on top of the foundation. Again, sort of see that natural shadow and mimic it with special focus towards the hairline. And don't be afraid even to like really work it in there. You don't wanna see the, the shadow just stop. And that's the contour step. So you can probably tell my face has a little bit more dimension to it. So now I'm going in with the fully bronzer shade, which is a lot warmer. Going in with the same brush because it helps to create seamless finish. And I'm gonna go up higher, right on the top of the cheekbone and even at the temples to the top of the forehead. So if I spent a day in the sun, where is the sun hitting? When you place it, at the temples and outward, outward and up, it creates a lifting effect. Again, the top of the forehead. I wanna go in with a slightly smaller brush into that bronzer shade and also get it on the lid. I find for an everyday makeup look, this is a really simple eyeshadow really. Just use your bronzer shade and it blends in with your whole face and then creates dimension in the eye and then you can just like work it into that temple and we can also do the top of the nose as well next is my favorite step which is blush i'm using one of the color magic shades this is the shade twilight in the briars this is so pigmented it's like a deep deep rose with this one i'm gonna place it on the apples of the cheeks and then use a dense brush again, slightly smaller than the foundation brush, and blend it out and blend it into that bronze and contour. And then I go in with my foundation brush and like buff out the edges to help blend it into everything. If you end up using too much blush, no worries, just do this technique and it'll lift it up. I'm gonna go in next with a little bit of highlight. This is the Dewy Fawn Marshmallow Highlighter in the shade Fair to Light. This is a super, super bright highlighter if you want it to be. So you can really build it up or you can just do it very subtly. I like to place it with my finger on the top of the cheekbones and just a little bit because I find my base is already pretty glowy. And top of the brow bone and even right above the brow and at the tip of the nose. I'm also going to use Twilight in the Briars, the color magic on my lips. So these formulas, like you can use them on your lips, cheeks, eyes. It works for all of those. And my lips are feeling super moisturized and super prepped from the lip blush. So that means like, this pigment isn't going to be clinging to any dry bits. So that's why lip prep is so crucial. If you want to get the lip line a little sharper, you can always go in with a tiny little brush to spread the product right to the edges. To finish off the look for some longevity, I'm going to go in with a setting powder. Go with a loose setting powder, a pressed setting powder, doesn't really matter. Just using a brush on certain points of the face that I don't really want to be glowy or dewy or shiny, I'm just gonna press this in. So in the T-zone, chin, forehead. 
Now to really melt everything into the skin, I'm gonna use the Fire Priestess Illuminating Setting Spray. This product is so cool because it has this like subtle shimmer to it. It's good to shake this up. I like to use this to finish off my look to sort of blend the powders and the oils together and also throughout the day, if it's like a hot summer day, this just feels great to refresh your face with or without makeup and just like a couple sprays. And it smells so good. I'm going to do my lashes and I'm going to come back just to show how the final look turned out. And this is the finished look with lashes. I think it's so pretty. It's such a great everyday look. I love sort of using products in different places like the bronzer on the eyes, the cheek color on the lips because I think it creates a really sort of seamless finish and really integrates the look together. I think this is such a nice everyday look and these products just all work so nicely together. So I hope you learned something today. I hope you'll recreate this look and enjoy all your beautiful products.